Hello and welcome back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic, playing as Phaedron here, my Imperial Agent. And we're on the capital world of the Sith Empire, Drum and Cass, trying to root out some radicals within the Empire, wanting to overthrow the government. We have found the next link in the chain, some genius inventor. But unfortunately, it seems he is working for a rogue Sith Lord. This Lord Graven. Imperial Intelligence believes that this inventor, this Mindak, has dissident sympathies, which were confirmed by his daughter as well. His daughter has kindly given us the access codes to gain access to her father's workshop. But we are going to have to sneak into Lord Graffin's estate. One thing before we start. I did switch over to the concealment discipline uh, style. Nothing much has really changed. Apart from while as we're an operative we're still using the tactical advantage system. Rather than the corrosive assault, we have laceration, which is a little bit closer range, only four meters, but it deals more damage. It also slows and stuns an enemy. And rather than our noxious knives uh, dealing a little bit more damage, I chose to take debilitate, which deals a small amount of energy damage and also stuns a target four seconds so we have a couple of stunning abilities now which is uh, rather handy well before we leave car city there is a quest here explosive discontent warning enter the plaza at your own risk Terrorist attacks have targeted the area. Patrols have deactivated multiple bombs in the city plaza, but are not certain the area is secure. The Dark Council calls upon all able bodies to find and disable any additional devices. And this is where we would get one of our first bits of headgear. So, explosive devices, explosive devices, much like this one. And thankfully we do have this uh, bomb disposal device. We'll leave the rest of the bombs to fellow agents and Sith. I'm sure they're going to be willing to do their part as well. Let's 
see both give the same amount of armor. One gives slightly more mastery, one gives more endurance. clean with your face. I can't hold him off forever. Confess and we can put this behind us. Uniquely. Very well. You were hereby sentenced to two decades of off-world slave labor. Stop stammering, worm. That's what you get for defiling the Imperial banner with your filthy hands. <laughs> defiling the Imperial banner. Two I decades. All shiny and new. Makes you want to burn the whole thing down. Two decades of off-world labor. Not lucky for some. Uh, right, so... We are wanting to head down to the wall. There are various paths through the jungle. I should take some time selecting a speeder to get us through some of the uh, areas a little bit more quickly. Hello, droid. Darth Hadra has orchestrated a sly power play in the upper wilds, laying claim to a trove of relics that rightfully must be turned over to the Empire. Her disloyalty and audacity cannot go unpunished. Track down the seized relics in Hadra's encampment due south of Car City and cleave through her forces to locate her personal staff. Dorf Hadra's apprentice, Lord Arosh, will be guarding this precious cache. Silence the apprentice to teach her master the price of defying the Empire. This used to be what was known as an area quest, similar to heroic missions. There, are, there used to be Area 2 and Area 4 quests, which would indicate how many people should be in your party working together. Yeah, Hadra's forces were rather tough. But again, it's been rescaled. And now a lot of these enemies are just standard, normal difficulty or strong enemies. Oh. Got a little bit of an exploration experience there. Did we learn anything new? No. Okay. So a lot of these troopers will have the relics that we require. So we're going to be focused on using our fragmentation grenade to deal with lots of, like a group of enemies. Or we're going to be bypassing them entirely. Or give backstab laceration abilities are all going to be mainly for dealing focused damage to a single target.
There's all the relics. We just need to locate the personal cat now. Oh, and there's Lord Arrow. Take this, ugly. Thank you, Kaleo. Claim Lord of Russia's token. So when we get ourselves back over to Class City, we can turn those over as proof of our success. And now... We head out this way. Watch out for various droids. They do have a scanning ability to break us from our stealth. Small Imperial encampment here. Oh, we have a lot of object on the Chevin. Please use all products only as intended. Be well. Hello, Captain. I used to be respected, you know. A word carried weight. One tiny mistake and suddenly no one trusts me. My troops were acting strangely, plotting something. Obviously, they were traitors. All the warning signs were there. A smart move was to kill them all. How could I know they were planning a surprise party for my promotion? You killed all the troops under your command. I was under a lot of stress at the time. I've got my wits about me now. You have to listen to me. This time, I'm not being paranoid. This time, I've identified a major threat to Imperial security. There are Kuban spies all over the jungle, and they're invisible. You can only see them when lightning flashes disrupt their stealth technology. How can these alleged um, Kubas make themselves invisible? They must have powerful stealth field generators. If not for the electrical discharges in the atmosphere, I'd never have noticed them. The Empire's enemies are up to something. The Kubas are here assessing our strengths and weaknesses for them. I just know it. Scour the jungle, watch the lightning flashes, and strike when you see a Kubas. Kill the snouted scum and bring me proof. When you come back from the jungles with a Kubas holocommunicator, I'll finally be vindicated. Uh, ah. Uh. You seem very sure. Seemingly the Kubas are just up around this bend. Oh. Indeed there is one here as well. Unfortunately, we need to kind of restrain ourselves from killing them instantly. These spotters are acting for their... A rat attack place like this could be 10 years old. Big stuff doesn't last long on rat attack. Hmm, as I was saying, the spotters are acting for their more stealthy compatriots. Rise and shine. In fairness, we only need to deal with the spotters as part of the bonus mission.
none of these Koopas have given us the hollow communicator the captain desires. Well, let's use this lightning spire. Ooh. None of them dropped a holo communicator. That's unusual. Oh well. We can try again. Alright, make me look good. That's better. communicator with Kuba's markings on it. This will shut up those fools calling me paranoid. With this, I'll finally prove there are spies all around us. My superiors can't ignore this kind of evidence. You've done a great service for both me and the Empire, my friend. Take this, and my thanks. You are welcome. Just try not to kill any more troopers. I'll have the respect I deserve around here again. Thanks for your help. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Right, so if we follow this road south. Oh, yeah, that looks like my destination there. the wall. Oh! Well, someone failed. <laughs> Please use all products only as intended. Be well. Thank you. So we do need to go beyond the wall if we want to head over to Lord Graffin's estate. But before we do that, it seems there's a few Sith who would like our attention. I know of you. You work quietly and tell no secrets. I am the apprentice and voice of Darth Charnas. I speak in his name and I would bargain for your services. I'm listening. Continue. I require individuals capable of gaining prestige in a society weaned on secrecy and madness. Individuals who can earn respect, if not love. I need infiltrators to eliminate an enemy of the Sith. You would serve well. What sort of enemy are you referring to? Our enemy is the Order of Revan. A cult of fools hidden at every stratum of Imperial society. For years, the Revanite heretics have secretly recruited military officers, powerful Sith, wealthy mercenaries, anyone who can add to their power. What makes them heretics? Instead of following the Emperor and his Dark Council, the Revanites follow a long-dead Sith Lord, tainted by Jedi ways. 
If you can uncover the Revenite leader's identity for us, my master will reveal him to the Dark Council. His destruction would be assured. All you have to do is join the cult. I can get you inside, but you must earn their trust. Do you have a plan in mind? The Revenites have a secret compound in the jungle. Take this token to the cultist at the entrance. He will initiate you. Earn an audience with their leader. When you have seen his face, return here, and you shall have your reward. I see. My master must know the identity of the Revenite leader. So, we have another group of dissidents within the Empire. This Order of Revan. Before we head over to Lord Graffin's estate, we may as well try to be initiated into this cult. There is a purpose for doing this beforehand. for the jungle beasts. Make sure we don't get eaten. Did you lose your way in the jungle? You have my sympathies, but we can't help. We have no food or water to offer. There's nothing for you here, and strangers are not welcome in this place. You'd best be going. I was given this token. Does it tell you anything? I'm not sure. Ah, you do have the token. Someone must have had great faith in you to send you our way. Welcome to the Order of Revan, Initiate. Welcome to your new life. What is this place? This place is our haven. Built by the Master and protected by the Faithful. Here we leave our duties to the Empire behind. This is where the Master guides us in the mysteries of Revan. The one who began a Jedi, but grew into a Sith, and then something more. But who is the Master? Our leader, founder and teacher. Learn of Revan, and you'll learn about him. As a Jedi, Revan was a warrior who slaughtered armies. As a Sith, Revan was a teacher who trained a thousand dark apprentices. Eventually, Jedi and Sith both turned on Revan. But instead of being destroyed, Revan was reborn. If all that's true, why isn't Revan known better? The Empire tries to bury Revan as a minor figure, out of fear. Revan was stripped of power, stripped of life, of memory, and left to rot. And still, Revan relearned the ways of the Force. The reborn Revan destroyed Jedi and Sith, and came to Drom and Kars. Although Revan's life ended here, the Master preserved that life, so that we may learn from it. I'm not Sith. What does Revan have to teach me? Sith or not, Imperial or not, Revan taught many people. Anyone can benefit from our work. Take part in our rituals, learn Revan's path to greatness, succeed, and you earn the right to join us. What do I have to do to meet the Master? I'm eager to speak to him. Around you, you'll find your new teachers, Revanites who have spent their lives recovering the works of Darth Revan. Speak to them. Complete the tasks you are given. When you are through, return to me, and the Master will give you your final lessons. I see. So to locate and meet this master, we have various other trials we need to pass. Ah, uh, very well.
Come here. Come closer. You are among the initiates who wish to join our order, and this is good. But tell me something. You are here because of the Order of Revan. Are you ready to die for us? I'm not sure what you mean. Consider carefully, for every Revanite must face the trial of death, just as Revan died at the hands of the Jedi and Sith. Death freed Revan, left him unbound from all oaths and promises. It paved his road to rebirth. Will death free you from your past? I serve the Empire. I doubt even death would free me from that. No. You might be surprised. Leave your old life behind and let your allegiances die with it. Before us is a path. Beyond the path is a cave. A cave dedicated to Darth Revan. Initiates fall on the path. Initiates are torn apart by things inside the cave. But initiates who reach the end are reborn, remade. You expect me to go into this cave? I expect nothing of you. The choice to walk the path of Revan or to return to the life you left is yours. The path is here. The cave. The cave will be more trying. I think I understand. Go. Free yourself from the life you've made. The petty choices, the mistakes, the oaths sworn, all of it will be washed away. It will be terrible. It will be glorious. When the deed is done and you have reached the end of the cave, return to me. The Watchers say you have not been to the cave. Do not return until you've completed the trial of death. Well, obviously, I'm still standing right before you. I was hoping you might give me a little bit more information. But seemingly not. The Cave of Death. The cave ded dedicated to Revan. Lovely. So all those people? You know they're crazy, right? Trust me, I've seen enough cults in my day. I'm sure you have. And yes, I acknowledge they are also very likely to be crazy. Rail, this is not necessary. I always like to go along this way and say hello to a certain droid. A defective demolition droid. Rise and shine. Get Kaleo taking the droid apart. And we have a lot object on the statue of Kresh. Well, this seems to maybe not have any relevance. This may become relevant later. Since before the Great Hyperspace War, the Sif Kresh bloodline was a proud and noble one in the Empire. Pure-blooded Sith Lords, strong in the Force, were born to the Kresh line generation after generation. Statues and monuments to Kresh champions can be found across Droman Kars. Until the Emperor declared the Kresh name an abomination and ordered all evidence of the family obliterated. The reasons why are no longer clear if they ever were. Once the task is complete, the order itself will be wiped from history. Some believe that the last scion to the Kresh bloodline somehow betrayed the Emperor, but anyone who knows the full truth keeps it to himself. 
So, for some reason, the immortal Sith Emperor declared that the Crash bloodline was an abomination and had them purged from Imperial history. Rise and shine. Can't quite sneak past the probe droid, so we might as well just bum rush them. Get up close and personal with our knives. This place. I don't like being here. Do what you have to do with the statue and let's get out. Yeah. Doesn't quite fill me with uh mm. And we awoke back in the Revenite camp. What the hell happened to us? You return. Dripping with the blood of the womb, you are reborn. Your old life. Everything you were, all of it is dead. Buried inside that cave. What was that place? It was... It was strange. Darth Revan's shrine. Every piece of Revan's life that we've recovered is in that cave. It's the last thing an should see before dying. Tell me how it feels. Your obligations have vanished. Your past no longer burdens you. How does it feel to see the world reborn? It feels different. Just different so it should you've done well and i'm proud that you've begun your new life as a revenite choosing allegiance to us first of all take this gift to guide you in your new life it will remind you of what you've become leave now and may the force make you strong i see actually i don't but let's just pretend i see so we now need to speak to another Revenite on our next trial. Come, speak with me. Darth Revan appreciated all species of the galaxy, and so do his followers. I remember when I was like you. I remember my trials and the joy of killing in the Master's name. You're so fortunate. How often does the Master ask that someone be killed? The Master doesn't have to ask. He trusts me with that burden of judgment. I'm Ladra. Once the personal assassin of a Sith Lord, I am now the serene protector of the Master and his students. I contemplate Revan's teachings as I execute intruders and heretics. 
but I also guide initiates and help determine their trials. Your wisdom must be great, Ladra. Will you share it? Of course I will. That is how I honor the Master. Every Revenite's initiation includes a trial of the past, a right to bind the initiate to Revan. Your right will be very special. You will find the mask of Darth Revan, what he wore after becoming Sith. It's a powerful symbol of his greatness, long lost to us. Whatever I must do to prove myself, Ladra. That's the proper spirit. Excellent. The mask is in a collection of antiquities possessed by my former teacher, the Sith Lord Grathon. It must be freed from that heretic, rescued in a reign of blood and death. Stealing from a Sith Lord won't be easy to survive. Revan faced death to achieve greatness, as will you. Speak to Torun, our curator. He'll give you the spiritual guidance you need and tell you where the mask is. When your journey's done, bring the mask to me. Good luck. Welcome the peace that comes with serving the master. So Ladra here is meant to be under watch for any intruders. She's meant to be the one who judges, who can identify threats to the master. Really now? Hmm. That's very interesting. What have we got here? I wasn't expecting a visit from any initiates, but you're welcome to stay and talk, in any case. I'm Tarun, devoted servant of the Master and student of Revan. What can I do for you? I'm searching for Darth Revan's mask. I'm told you can help. So, Ladra sent you. She wants me to ritually prepare you for contact with Revan's mask, eh? A pointless ceremony. Ladra's devoted to the Revanites. She's also obsessed with that mask. Says it talks to her. Ladra wants the mask to represent everything Revan ever was, but he wasn't just Sith. Before his rebirth, he was both Sith and Jedi. What difference does it make what Ladra believes? She misleads young initiates like yourself with her narrow beliefs. It's tempting to seek answers in material objects. Landra will use the mask to teach that Revan was a being of only darkness. I don't want that mask becoming our order's sole focus. Bring it to me. I'll keep it safe among a few like-minded scholars. Not sure I want a full-blooded Sith angry with me. She doesn't need to know what really went on between us. I'm sure Ladra promised a grand reward for the mask. I can't match it, but I can promise your initiation will proceed smoothly. Will you help me preserve the real Revan? Or will you let Ladra overshadow everything with a Sith relic? I'll have to weigh my options before I choose. I don't have to tell you to be careful, but may the Force be with you. May it keep you strong and guide your return. The Mask of Revan is located in a secure vault within Graffin's estate. Very well. Good to know. And another reason why we need to get ourselves over to Lord Graffin's estate. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Let's get ourselves back over to the wall. We have our purposes for entering the estate now. There are another couple of quests we can pick up, other reasons for interfering with Lord Graffin's activities. I think before we call it... Please use all products only as intended. Tell you what, before we take a break, let's do one more thing here and now. There is a heroic mission available to us. Yeah, we'll do this now rather than do it in the next part. Why not? Hmm, yes. I could use someone with a bit of finesse. This day has been intolerable. My idiot apprentices got themselves killed during a simple ritual, and they still have the runes I entrusted to them. 
They just had to summon a dark side beast, a Sith spawn, and bring it to me. I even researched the artifact to find it. Could you help? Summoning dark creatures sounds like Sith business. Once you have the artifact, even you could summon a Sith spawn. Oh, you'll need to subdue the Sith spawn before the artifact can bind it. Just point me in the right direction and I'll bring back your creature. Get the runes from my apprentice's bodies and take them to the archway in the jungle. The artifact is hidden there. It'll guide you. Well, don't just stand there. Go and get my Sith spawn. We shouldn't have really made eye contact with her. He's rather crazy. And we are certainly not Sith. Thankfully, I suppose, as a member of Imperial Intelligence, we will have researched some of the Sith teachings. Or we would have learned about them during our youth. Here on Droman Pass. As uh, some of the Sith teachings are important to the success of this ritual. Unfortunately, we do need to find Lord Shalaf's apprentices and the runes that were on their bodies. Thirty-three. Oh, and our experience boost has come to an end, so we'll pop another one. We'll actually have to be a bit careful with this, uh, with this heroic mission. Even though we could switch clear over the healing, make our life a little bit easier. These, uh, wild beasts do certainly, uh, hit rather hard. Other players are also fighting for these runes. They have a little bit of a slow uh, respawn time. All right, make me look good. Two runes so far. Oh, and the third has been left unmolested. The jungle beasts have already been killed by another player. quickly. Okay, we need one more of the runes. Let's jump into the river here. I do believe there's either a matrix shard or 
a datacron here in this river. We have a waterfall here, but there is another waterfall further along upstream. And I believe there's a datacron over there. slowed. There we are. Might have accidentally toggled my uh, my walk ability. So with all five ruins in my possession, we can now travel along this way. And into this cave. Of course, Lord Shalaf didn't warn us that we would need the basics of Sith philosophy to conduct this ritual. Thankfully. We have plenty of uh, experience, don't we? So, I need... All of you. Here we are. And so, peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Hmm. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The force shall free me. This Sif spawn actually has a chance to resist force techniques. Thankfully, we don't have any of those. Is concluded. Yes, I'm sure it is. And that quest auto completed. And we're starting to get the battle scar targeter's gear. Another earpiece. Oh, handy. I do like these, uh, this chest piece. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it's probably quicker just to get ourselves back to the wall here. Let's use our quick travel. Okay, so 
we will take a break here. When we come back, we have an Imperial Captain to speak to. I think there may be a Captain or Lieutenant on the bridge who would also like our attention. But we will be heading south in the Lord Grafford's estate to find this inventor, this Mindak, and see what he knows about the dissidents and their activities. In addition, we'll be looking into retrieving Revan's mask and try to identify the master of the Order of the Revanites. But that's all for next time. Thank you all for joining me once again with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Feel free to leave a comment if you so wish, and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, no take care. Bye-bye now.